Hello and welcome to another Warzone video. Today I'm going to be talking about the state of Warzone and some major problems that modern day Call of Duty has. Issues that Activision has caused themselves, such as skill based matchmaking, or just won't bother putting in the resources to fix. Warzone has gotten a massive player base since release and has a lot of good things to offer the Battle Royale experience. However, there are still some major problems with the game. Some which Activision has failed to even publicly address, such as skill based matchmaking, without someone from the dev slash PR team getting fucking executed for talking about it, and those that are fundamental issues with the game design, server quality, weapon balancing, and lack of anti cheat causing an onslaught of hackers running rampant through the game, which is really fucking great. Skill based matchmaking is an issue with Warzone, was and still is an issue with Modern Warfare's multiplayer, and continues to be an issue in Cold War's multiplayer which had a free multiplayer event barely after release because in my opinion they were desperate to get more people onto Cold War's multiplayer and bring those back that stopped playing with double XP events. These free multiplayer events have never happened before for COD until Modern Warfare in 2019 which I don't think is a coincidence being the first game to really ramp up the skill based matchmaking algorithms impact on the lobbies you play in. It is such a shame because COD has been a really fun multiplayer shooter over the years with some shitty ones here and there. Uh oh, stinky. But overall been a series known for really solid fast paced online shooting. The real shame though is that all the good ones too have had some major issue that ruins the experience, whether it be balance, connection or engine related, never allowing players to have an overall amazing experience that I think the COD devs are capable of delivering. It's just Activision has them so overworked with trying to get a new COD every year Sledgehammer's new game that was due out last year was axed, so Cold War, which should have came out this year, got rushed to launch with its own range of issues. The obvious problem being the lack of content that players have come to expect from a new COD. Some issues have been fixed, but others are still on the way to being fixed, with more free content on the way. I do commend Activision for finally making new zombie maps free for people that already own the fucking game, finally! My main problems with Warzone are the effects of skill based matchmaking, lack of decent server support, frustrating slow release of new content and general balancing issues that Activision can't seem to stop causing themselves and taking forever to fix so they can sell more of their fucking loot boxes that contain the current broken meta weapons. I don't think skill based matchmaking is going away as Activision are so dead set on never addressing it. I just think the game would be considerably more fun if there was a casual mode that just puts you into random lobbies and some kind of elaborate ranked mode that has actual rewards for playing against the G-Fuel sniffing, body odoured out of their mind psychopaths. Secondly, the horrible servers used for Warzone which have a really low tick rate. Warzone has a tick rate of 20 which is far too low for the fast paced shooting the game facilitates. The time to kill is already insanely low for this game which leads to gunfights always feeling inconsistent. It feels like COD will forever be the multiplayer shooter known for getting shot around corners due to shitty hit detection and netcode. I understand this is a hardware limitation due to the large amount of players in each match, but I feel there should be an option for at least 60 tick rate servers for players with CPUs that can handle it, like PCs and next gen consoles. However, I don't expect Activision to do this as it will segregate the large player base that is needed for their horrendous skill based matchmaking algorithm to work. The game also needs to up the pace of content being added. The amount of money Activision is making from this game with microtransactions is unacceptable for the amount of progress being made to improve it. For another more exciting battle royale, with better netcode, balancing and less lifeless map design was to come out anytime soon, I don't think it would be difficult for them to knock Warzone out of the spotlight, which will be the case if Activision keeps up this poor effort that they've done thus far. Another big problem at the moment is the balancing of weapons and field upgrades in the game. Since the time to kill is already too low, in my opinion, for a battle royale shooter, it is always extremely jarring when there is obvious balance issues that often make the game unplayable at points. For example, the dual pistol, fire shotgun, DMR, and current FFAR and org meta. I'm normally eager to jump back into Warzone, but these low skill gap metas, especially when you throw in skill based matchmaking into the mix, just make the game an unplayable slog. And also the field upgrades, stopping power and dead silence crank the bullshit up to 11 on which is already an unbalanced mess. But I still think there is a lot to like about Warzone which is what makes the issue so frustrating and can almost make up for all the crap at times. I love the weapons, gun sounds and experience of Warzone when everything goes right. I also love how you can directly hear the person you just killed straight after their death. It's really hilarious sometimes. 
Playing a battle royale with 150 players with great shooting, albeit with shit hit detection, is no small feat. I just think a substantial upgrade to the netcode and the servers they use would really benefit the staying power and enjoyment of the game. Just wanted to share my thoughts on the current state of the game. If you want to share yours on Warzone, make sure to leave a comment and subscribe for more Warzone videos if Activision gets their head out of their ass and I don't give up on the game. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!